that everybody all across the country feels the same way. We are going to be with people every step of the way down the long, hard road of recovery. We're going to help them yeah. with their lives. Doing everything 
come together, and we certainly don't want government to get involved in the wrong things. For example, we think we don't need politicians, especially mostly male politicians, to try to control health care choices of women and women.
A big shout out to Mom by the lobbyists and special interests. The politicians who will do whatever it takes to keep things just the way they are. The protectors of the status quo. And over the last four years, the status quo in Washington, they have fought us every step of the way. They tried to, they, you know, they spent millions of dollars trying to prevent us from reforming our health care system. Millions of dollars trying to prevent us from ending taxpayer funded bailouts on Wall Street. Millions of dollars trying to prevent us from protecting consumers. They engineered a strategy of gridlock in Congress, refusing to compromise on ideas that in the past Democrats and Republicans have supported. Suddenly Republicans didn't support them anymore. Including by the way the health care bill that my opponent designed in Massachusetts. <laughs> the one thing he did right. And what they're counting on now is that you'll be so worn down by all the squabbling in Washington, so tired of all the dysfunction. You're just going to give up, walk away, and then leave them in time. They're betting on cynicism. No. Well, no. my bet's on you. Yeah. And the goodness. Yeah. And the resolve of the American people. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, the fights we're fighting, they're not partisan. When, when the other party's been willing to work with them to help middle class families, to help folks have ladders of opportunity, like when we cut taxes for middle class families and small businesses, when we came together to repeal the national debt, I've embraced them. I want to work together. I, I believe we're all Americans first, not Democrats or Republicans first. Yeah. As long as I'm president, I will work with anybody of any party to move this country forward. And if you want to break the great lock of Congress, you'll vote for leaders feel the same way. Whether the Democrats, Republicans, or Independents. Folks who put people first, not the next election first. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I will, well, I'm going to confess to you, there's times where we need to fight. But if the price of peace in Washington is just cutting deals that kick students off of financial aid, no. or get rid of funding for Planned Parenthood, no. or allow no. insurance companies to discriminate against people with pre existing conditions, no. 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 Healthcare for millions on Medicaid who are poor or elderly or disabled. No. That price is too high. No. That's not a price I'm willing to pay. That's not bipartisanship. That's not no. real change. That's surrender to the same status quo that has hurt middle class families for way too long. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to give up on that fight. No. 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 I may be full of gray hair now, but I'm just a Books, had to dig in her own pocket to buy school supplies. 
sometimes just feeling discouraged, but, but then knowing that every day there might be just that one kid that she's touching that day. Yep. She needs a champion. Yeah. All those kids in inner cities, in small farm towns, rolling hills of Virginia, the valleys of Ohio, right here in the view, kids dreaming of becoming scientists or doctors or engineers or entrepreneurs, following the family tradition of farming the land, Maybe become a diplomat, maybe become a president. Yeah. Start the business. They need champions in Washington because, you know, they don't have lobbyists. The future will never have as many lobbyists as the protectors of the status quo, but it's the dreams of those children that are our saving grace. They're the ones who will carry forward the vision of America that makes us so special. And that's why I need you, Iowa, to make sure their voices are heard. To make sure your voices are heard. We've come too far to turn back now. We've come too far to let our hearts roll away. Now is the time for us to keep pushing forward, to educating all our kids, to training all our workers, to creating new jobs, to rebuilding our infrastructure, to discovering new sources of energy, to broadening opportunity, to growing our middle class, to restoring our democracy. Yeah.